So we are um, <coughs> we're doing Parashat Pekudeh. Just one, one quick point about uh, Hoshen. We know that Aaron, he had a breastplate on his, on his, covering his heart. And that was the Hoshen. And we asked, what zechut did Aaron have that he wore the Hoshen? It says, because when Moshe Rabbeinu was being picked as the leader, so it says, He was happy in his heart. Moshe, Aaron was happy in his heart for Moshe Rabbeinu. And that's why he was zocher to have the, the Hoshin on, on, uh, placed on his heart. So the question is really is, but the Kohen Gadol had other things. He had the tzitz. Tzitz was on his void. He had a, a different type of hat. He had a different clothing that he, was me- that he was wearing more than the regular Kohen. Four different ones. The regular Kohen wears four, uh, four and the Kohen Gadol wears eight. So how come on that extra four, we don't ask what zechut did he have, what zechut did he have, what zechut did he have? Why is it that we only ask when it came to the Hoshen, what zechut did Aaron have to wear that? So what about the other three items that he had extra than the Kohen? And the answer is, if you analyze each other item that he had, the Kohen Gadol, it was covering something that's exposed. Like a hat? Fine, you're right, he had a different type of hat. But a, 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 head, a head is, he's putting a head covering. So it makes sense that you got, or it seats, a headband, like on top. Uh, it's a very hashub item. Fine, but it's still, it's still an ornament on something that, ex, uh, that is exposed. The heart is something that we don't see. It's, it, it, it's concealed. We don't see it. So why over here you need a schut? Aharon's heart was so great that it was considered exposed. What do I mean? He was so happy when Moshe Rabbeinu became the leader. It's as if, like, his, his heart was out of his body. Like, wow! You know, it wasn't only there. It was also that, how is it, Aharon was tremendously successful in making peace. How is it? We know Aaron was the extreme peacemaker. Anybody had any problems, you go to Aaron, Aaron, a Kohen, he would take care of it. Ad Kedekach, when he passed away, he had so many people uh, uh, walking into the Nevaya, their names Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Why, why are they calling him Aaron? Oh, because you made peace amongst my, my parents, and now they had a child, and that was me, they called me Aaron. <laughs> Aaron was amazing, it was all over Aaron. There was millions of Aarons. And how did he have the ability to make so much shalom in the world? The answer is, his heart, even though it's something concealed, it was exposed. He loved the people so much, he couldn't tolerate, he couldn't handle if a person's fighting on Allah, he couldn't handle it. So he loved it so much that he went out of his way to make sure everybody's peaceful. Oh, have shalom, rodev shalom. He loved it, he couldn't, because he loved the people so much. His heart, even though it's something concealed, it was exposed to others. And that's how they made peace right away. Oh, Haron really loves me? Okay, you know, let, let, me, make, let me make this happen. Let me, let, let me see, because I want to make him happy as well. I want to make Haron happy as well. So that's exactly the answer. What's the answer that we only ask on the heart? Because the heart is something that's concealed. It's not open, so why should we cover it? So therefore, you know, so, oh, so why are we covering it? Now we have to say, you have to have a schut. What schut did he have? He made his heart exposed. What does that mean? He had the love of every person in, in, in the world where uh, Moshe Rabbeinu gets successful. Samach bilibu, I'm happy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, oh, he's successful. Oh, no, no, he's successful. Be happy for the guy. Yeah, I'm very happy for you. Yes, I'm happy. Yes, that, that was Aaron. Somebody's, uh, somebody's uh, in an argument, Be, do, go out of your way if you can and see as much as you can. But how do you do it? Out of love. How are you going to make the peace? If you want to be a peacemaker, 
you have to show love to the to both parties and you'll be able to make the peace. That's the way it is, because they feel the energy, they feel the vibe, they feel that 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 kawak, that strength. That's what Aaron had. Aaron, his heart, even though it was concealed, it was exposed. People saw it. Therefore, we have to cover it. And that's why we ask, what's who did he have? Because when he saw Moshe Rabbeinu as a leadership, all of a sudden, he was happy. He was so happy. That was Aaron. And that's why we have to take the lesson from Aaron. Shabbat Shalom.